Today, what I want to show you is that keyboard sitting right in front of you right now is, well, a custom keyboard. Because honestly, when you think about a custom keyboard, what is it? You buy a case, you buy some switches, you buy some keycaps, and that's what you get. It's a custom keyboard, something you created. A few quick examples of ones I've already done, and you can go check out the videos if you want more detail, the Razer Huntsman Mini right here. I threw some flexi seal up on top of this right here, some foam inside the case, lube the switches, lube the stabs. Listen to this. I mean, holy stinking moly, this thing sounds amazing. My ever so favorite Maya Pro. What I did here is pretty much just slapped on some of the Razer Phantom keycaps. I stinking love it. Just look at that combo. You don't even see any font right there. When you light it up, bam, the font comes through it. I really didn't do much to this here. I got the white case. This is from the Rainbow Maya Pro. Slap those caps on it. Already sounds stinking amazing. And again, we made it what we wanted hence custom. And one last one I want to show you, which I'm really proud of here, is the Apex Pro, the SteelSeries Apex Pro. As you can see right here, we put on the new SteelSeries put-in keycaps, a little dab of black ones on our WASD, but we also lubed our stabs, right? Did the Band-Aid mod down on our stabs and everything, just tightened everything up. Don't you even lie, that sounds stinking amazing for an out of the box keyboard, an Apex Pro right here with some simple, easy, cheap mods we did right at home. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do it with the Fanatic Streak 65 LP. I stink and love this keyboard. Go check out the review on this if you haven't. So all we're gonna need here is our boards. I mean, you don't always need to. Again, this can work on any boards you have right there. Heck, you can paint them or do whatever you want. I have two, so we're gonna use both of them here. Make sure you go get yourself an electric screwdriver. One of these little guys right here, you got a bunch of little bits. Trust me, this thing is gonna be incredibly helpful for you. Keycap puller, we all have them, get one of those. And then this little foam. You're gonna get this in your packaging from Amazon or wherever you order from. You have plenty of this stuff probably laying around home. So first off, let's go on and take off all of our keycaps on both boards. I mean, who needs a keycap puller, right? Now we want to take them apart. All right, so now we have our boards unscrewed, ready to take apart right here. And this is where a lot of the creativity gets to really come to life. Now, luckily for these boards here, the stabs are fantastically lubed, but you can lube them right in this process as well. So totally unscrewed, bam, and we're just gonna pop our top case off. As you can see right there, our switches are attached in. Bam, right down here on the Fanatic Streak LP. As you see, they have this little bit of foam already in there. Little tiny little skimpy piece. It already sounds amazing. You don't really need to do this because the keyboard, go watch the review. It sounds fantastic stock, right? But hey, why not make it a little bit better if we can this easily? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with that extra piece of foam right here. Now you don't want too much because if you really compact it in there, you can make your keyboard work when you get like too much pressure on the PCB or whatnot. So just put a little dab right in there. We can line these up. I already have my holes already notched out for it. Bam, there's that one. And there we go. As you see, nothing fancy. A simple piece of packaging foam slapped right down in there. And what that's gonna do is just dampen that sound just a little bit more, even if it's not needed. Again, why not do it? But talking about getting creative, this is where I'm gonna mix things up a little bit. We got the white case here. I'm gonna go on and put the black top on the white case. And then we'll take the white top and put it on the black case. So I have that little mix match right there. We'll mix match our little logos as well. And you know what? I'm gonna put the black screws on the white case and the silver screws on the black case. Give it a nice contrast there. All right, so as you can see, we have our boards all put back together. Yo, that is looking so good. The white on the black right there. Now, which logo do we put? Do we put the white one right there? I don't know, because it kind of flows into the white. Kind of throws me off a little bit. Let me see if we put the black one. I think that might go a little bit better. I don't know, what do you guys think? I like how that black kind of cuts into the white down there. Let's go on and check it out on the whiteboard. 
Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna go with. I like how it just cuts down there. And just take a look at the black screws, the little dots right there. It's little touches like that that really make a difference. You know what? Maybe we should replace these feet as well. But now, getting back to our keycaps here, we have the white ones, we have the black ones. We really get to dab with this and just get creative. What kind of pattern do you wanna put on your board with your keycaps? All right, guys, I need a cheat sheet. I do not remember where the keycaps go on these boards right here. So I'm gonna pull the box out so I can have kind of a guide right there for me. All right, check it out. Look at that right there. The white bottom, the black base, the white keycap, same over on this one. But me personally, I want just a little more pizzazz on these keyboards. So hold on, let me get that keycap puller I chunked over here earlier. There we go, we got our keycap puller. So let's get creative with this here, right? What can we do? First off, what I think I wanna do is swap these space bars. Okay, so let's put the black space bar over there, the white one over here. How about our WASD? I think that'll be really cool. So as you see, now we have our WASD on both of them. Let's go on and swap our arrows too. I think that'll look really cool. A lot of people will say, no, that's not custom, but if you dabble with it anyway, other than what you got it out of the box, that's custom. You're making it yours. I'm sorry, you can't argue with it. It's like repainting your car or something like that. You know what I mean? Look at that. I mean, that is so cool, right? So we got them flip flop like that. On the back right there, our logo. On the bottom with our feet and everything. How does it sound with that extra foam? Let's go on and listen to that. It sounds amazing. Now this board, again, like I stated before, it sounds amazing right out the box. Stock being low profile, there's not much pinging, pretty much none. There's no room for any of that sound to really travel through being at low profile, but just adding that little bit in there just gives it that extra solid sound. It's awesome. So as you can see right there, we took that keyboard that was right in front of us on our desk, a big box, big brand name keyboard and made it custom. We made it what we wanted, what I wanted. And you can do the same with yours. A lot of us just have that mindset that a custom keyboard has to be like four to $500. What's the difference? You're doing the same thing here as we did right there. Some people might say, man, 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 well, you just changed the keycaps. Now we did a lot more, but even if you just change the keycaps like we did on the Maya Pro, it's still custom because you're making it what you want. And on a side note here, you know, I was thinking through this entire video. I do not need two of these. Why do I have two of them? I've been tasting a giveaway through this whole video. I was thinking, man, I love this. I love the passion I put into this project right here. I want to give that to one of you all. You all know how I do guy giveaways, right? I don't like those giveaway accounts. I'm not just trying to gain, num gain numbers for that. I want to give you guys this experience as well, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do the giveaway yet. Make sure to swing over to social media, Twitter and Instagram at the Techni one. Follow me over there. Cause again, I'm just kind of thinking about it. I'm not sure which one I'm going to give away yet. I'll post it over there and then we'll go about my giveaways how I usually do. So make sure you follow on the socials and see, uh, what we decide to do with this giveaway as well. What a blast this was, guys. It, it was really fun. I hope you enjoyed it as well, and I hope I helped you out. If I did, hit that thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe, and I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.